no doubt there's greater support here for the Netherlands. Quite a contrast to their two previous World Cup finals in the 70s when they took on the host nation and lost on both occasions. No surprises in their team. The two suspended from the semi-final are back, right back Gregory van der Veel, who admitted also to feeling homesick, and his family were brought out here to help him with that. He replaces Bula Roos, and Nigel de Jong returns in the centre of midfield. They took a real chance on goalkeeper Martin Stecklenberg, who said half an hour before the kickoff, before the semi-final, that he was unfit to play with hip and neck problems. But they've cleared up, and he's certainly OK for tonight. Few officials are granted the privilege of refereeing the final in their first World Cup. And that honour does fall to Howard Webb, assisted by Darren Can and Mike Malarkey. The first to officiate at the Champions League final and a World Cup final in the same season. Jacob Zuma loves his football. And so too do these Spanish players. It's the same side as the semi-final. The performance of Pedro, who came in for Fernando Torres, was so strong that the renowned number nine was always likely to begin the evening on the bench. He didn't even do the full warm-up with the substitutes, incidentally. In the 11, it is the Barcelona 7, plus three from Real Madrid, and left-back Cap de Vila from Villarreal. Spain already thrilled being in their first World Cup final, but that won't dilute their desire to win it. They are, after all, the reigning champions of Europe. Royalty from both countries in the Tribune of Honour. Efan, do you have a, a gut feeling either way? I'm just a little bit concerned from a sort of neutral's point of view. I'm hoping that the Dutch are not going to play cautious in their third final. The two finals in the 70s were they were arguably the best teams going into the final. They weren't able to bring back the trophy. And will they just be that little bit cautious this time round, knowing that on paper, certainly performances in the last couple of seasons, Spain have been the best side in the world. If they play to their full potential, we're going to have a fantastic game. Spain have won 32 out of their last 34 internationals.